Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss about how to run only changed spec files or a test files since the last git commit. So here I am going to discuss two real time examples. The first example is we will make the code changes in the test file or a spec file and the second example is we will make the code changes in the utility functions. So Playwright has a beautiful future by using the sim simple command it will identify the all the impacted spec file or test file and simply it will runs all the impacted file by using the simple command. So let's see one by one examples. This particular Playwright feature plays the very important role in the Playwright tester's life. So you might be wondering how. So let's take an example where we have a team multiple team members are sharing the same github repository in many cases team member has to change the any utility function or a spec file or the test file in that case the same person responsibility he has to make sure that there is no impact on the existing code because of the new code changes so that's the reason Playwright provides you a simple solution by using a simple command. So it will identify the all the impacted test files and also it will run the only impacted test files and it will give you the results. So let's take the example one here. So we will go to the any one of the test file and we will make the some minor changes and we will run the one simple command. So here I will go to the VS code and here I am opening the one of the spec file. So here I will do very minor change here. So here I will come down in the spec file. So here I am adding one print statement console.log. So here I will say API test completed so that's it i will save this particular file and if you see here and if i go to the uh, source control and here you can see that so this particular file got updated so here i have made simple change so in your case or in the real time so there might be a number of changes depends on the uh, need. So if you look at the source control also it is showing only one file test file got changed here. So I will go back to the again uh, source folder. So now I will go to the terminal. So we have made the changes in the one of the spec file called api tests dot spec dot js file. So it has only one simple test which is an end to end api testing. So I will go to the terminal now and I will run the simple command. So here I'll say npx followed by playwright followed by test followed by hyphen hyphen only hyphen changed. That's it. Press enter. So it will run only the this particular spec file. And if you see here, so we had only one test and that is getting passed. So let's go to our report. So that particular report should contain the results for the this particular spec file. So here I'll go to the index.html report and I'll open this with the Chrome browser. And if you see here, total test is one and that is getting passed. And here you can observe the spec file name also. So this particular command has identified the this particular sorry. So this particular command has identified the only this modified spec file and it has executed and also it has returned back as the test report also. Correct. By using this test report you will get to know is there any impact because of the new code changes.
let's take the example two. So here we will make the changes in the utility function. So here I will navigate back to the my VS code and here I will go to the UI tests spec file. So what I will do here is in this spec file here I will go to the line number 26. So here I have created a one simple function click on video. So this particular function is created inside the playlist page. So I will go to this particular page and I will search for this particular function called click on video. So if you see here, so under the pages, we have the one JavaScript file called playlist page. And if you see here, we have a function called click on video. So here I will add a simple console.log statement console dot log so here I will print as UI test completed that's it then I will save the spec file so if you see here in the source control so we have two changes one is the previous change where we have updated the spec file that is our API test spec file and another change is in the utility function where we have the uh, playlist page and inside the playlist page we have the function called click on video and this particular click on video is being used in the two different spec files one is UI tests in the line number 26 so we are calling this particular method and in the data driven testing spec file also we are using the click on video function. So if you go to the at the end in the line number 28, we are calling the click on video function. So if I run the again same command that is npx playwright test and hyphen hyphen only changed. So what it will does is it will identify the all these three spec files and it will executes the all the three spec files. So it has identified the based on the code changes. It is going to identify the impacted files and it will run the impacted files. So here I will run the same command once again. So npx playwright test followed by hyphen hyphen only hyphen changed. So that's it. So firstly, it is running the UI test. Now it is invoking the uh, data driven testing. So data driven testing contains uh, three sets of test data. So that's the reason it is running uh, multiple times. If you look at uh, my test data folder. So I'm using this particular uh, JSON file where I have passed uh, three sets of test data. So that's the reason still it is running with uh, a few sets of test data. So after that, uh, it is going to execute the our API test and it will close the test execution. So let me maximize our uh, terminal. And if you see here, so we had a total uh, six tests and all are getting passed. So let's go to the, our report also. So here I'll simply open the report and I will refresh this report. And if you, if, if you observe here, so total we have a three spec files. One is UI tests and second one is API tests and third one is data driven test, testing. So nowhere I have mentioned to run all these three spec files. So it has identified all these three spec files like based on the 
code changes only. So this is how you can utilize the Playwright Beautiful Future to test the impacted test files or the impacted any automation tests in the Playwright Automation Framework.